Deep learning techniques for image segmentation require ground truth information as annotated images to train a model. You can annotate your images for deep learning using Appear Annotate. Deep learning requires a lot of annotated data to train millions of parameters. So please be patient with annotations as you may be using the trained model over a long period. To get started with annotations, please start by creating a new dataset. Give an appropriate name and hit next. Here you can select between semantic or instance segmentation. Semantic is where every pixel is segmented and instance is where every pixel is segmented and also every object is separated. If you're unsure of which one is appropriate for your dataset, go ahead and leave it to semantic segmentation. Let's hit next. To create your training dataset, you can upload your images or select existing images on your appear storage. Please remember that you can work with multiple individual files or stacks of images. Let's upload a TIFF stack of 12 images, each 1024 by 768 resolution. Click annotate to get started with the annotation. This opens up your data in a web viewer with all the required annotation tools. Add the classes and name them appropriately. The background class is predefined. You can assign a specific color to each class to better guide you during the annotation process. Let us start by annotating a few objects. Let us select the mitochondria class and use the paintbrush tool for annotation. Make sure you pay close attention while defining the boundaries as they are often the tough regions to accurately segment. If you make any mistakes by overdrawing the mitochondria in this example, you can use the eraser tool to correct the mistakes. Please make sure you check the autofill holes button to close the enclosed regions. You do not need to annotate every pixel in every image, but please make sure you annotate enough pixels. We recommend annotating at least 150 to 200 objects for better representation to the training model. To define the background, select the background class and an appropriate annotation tool. And define the background around annotated objects. And hit return or enter. This automatically defines the background region by excluding the pixels that belong to any real annotated object. In this example, mitochondria. In addition, it also defines the boundary between mitochondria and the background, thus ensuring higher accuracy for these regions that are usually associated with higher uncertainties. Once you're done with annotating an image, please hit the complete button. Continue your annotation by annotating other images. And please remember that you do not need to annotate all images in your dataset. Once you're confident about having enough annotations, hit the train button to start the training process.